Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and I'm back on the Minecraft server. As you can see, I'm in the nether, and the reason I'm in the nether is the nether fortress. Now, of course, we have the world border going on here in Season 5 of Minecraft, and the world border means we don't have access to all the resources right away. Uh, but I was doing a live stream, and I was looking around the edge of the, edge of the nether to try and find uh, a nether fortress, and I did successfully find one. So I've built a safe path out there, uh, which I'm following now, so that I could bring all my good gear and stuff and go out to... So you can see the world border here. It's kind of red, the red flowy thing. And we're going to follow the edge of the world border over to, uh, over to the fortress, which I happen to... The luck is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, I happen to find it right as... Basically, the well, you'll see in a moment. But the, the luck is crazy. Um, so my plan for today is I want to try and excavate the, the nether fortress a little bit so that we can actually um, kind of access it a bit and get some spawns. Okay, here it is. You can see the, the bricks. Okay, hold on, I have to go up a little bit, don't I? Can I build a staircase up maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, something like this. Okay, so here we go. This is the nether fortress. <laughs> uh, I, it kind of goes along this way a bit. I think this is like a pathway, like one of the hallways uh, that's usually above ground, but it's, it's completely blocked in, which means uh, basically nothing can spawn visible uh, of me. Now we're on, the, the server's on 14w31a, which does mean that mobs can spawn outside the world border, and I've seen several mods, and in fact I heard blaze sounds, so I know that there are blazes spawning here. Um, so my goal is to create some spawning surfaces here on the outside of uh, the fortress that I'll actually be able to kind of access. So I need to start by clearing out some area here. Um, I guess I might as well just do it right here. And I'm going to use beds in order to try and clear out some area. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec. Let me just clear out a bit more area. Doing this live, <laughs> you can see obviously if there was any damage to this. I can't do multiple takes on this, so uh, okay. Let's clear out a bit more area over here. <laughs> I love how how quickly you can clear out space in the uh, uh, in the Nether. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bed like right on top of these two blocks and explode it. So let's pop down crafting bench. Uh, let's just get a bunch of beds going here. Uh, let's do like, let's, here's four. Four beds, okay. So beds in the nether, you can't sleep in the nether. If you try and sleep in the nether, well you'll see what happens in a moment. <laughs> so I can put down the bed. Um, as soon as I right click on the bed, oh god, I'm on fire. Well that was a much bigger explosion than I expected, but hey it worked pretty well. <laughs> Holy crap, that worked really well. Uh, okay. I'm on fire. Okay, if I wasn't on... <laughs> if I was still on fire... Oh, wow. I can't believe that explosion was so big. I got a bunch of lava flowing into this area. That's kind of no good. I am probably going to try and put out a bunch of this uh, this fire here and, and cover up the lava. But we can start to see a bit more... Wow! That was a huge explosion. Or no, that was already dug, dug out. Never mind. So let's see what I can see here. Um, let's see. Alright. So I can see this hallway. I actually might be able to lure some blazes and skeletons out here. I do want to kind of block off the, um, the lava here as much as possible. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Uh, it's because it's actually, I think, blocking the, the path that I would take. Okay. Oh, no, 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 nope. I already died once in the nether. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think I blocked it off now. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that, that lava now is at a dead end. God, that explosion was much crazier than I expected. Okay, so, but let's take a look. I, I hear a gas. That's not a blaze. I did hear blazes earlier. Look at this. Like, this is the, this is the entire dome of the bed that, uh, bed explosion that 
that got created. I did not realize it was going to be so big. I I don't think it used to be that big, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is definitely this is definitely enough visibility that if I get any blazes to spawn in here, I'm gonna be able to lure them out. So I think what I'm gonna do is create a nice big surface right here that I can uh, basically stand on and just wait for blazes and stuff to spawn. Uh, I now I need to be they won't spawn within like I think it's 16 blocks of you, so I need to dig this out a bit farther to try and get them to actually spawn on these blocks. But if I just wait long enough, I should be able to get some blazes and wither skeletons. And at that point, ooh baby, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to start getting blaze rods, uh, which aren't that useful until we find some nether wart. Obviously, this is the only part of the, um, the fortress that's exposed. Actually, well, you can see a bit more of the fortress. If I can take a little path down here without killing myself. <laughs> uh... My, uh, I did not mean to cause as much damage as I did. <laughs> okay. If I come out here, you can see a bit more of the fortress. Oh, this lava is taking forever to go away. But I think if I dig out to the side, I should be able to see it. Yeah, so there's a bit more of the fortress that's visible. Um, so it does extend out that way pretty far. Hopefully there's some nether wart somewhere in there. Or a chest with nether wart, or whatever. And we can start actually making potions. But in the meantime, just having blazes and wither skeletons... Uh, who will spawn anywhere that anywhere in a fortress? Uh, just having access to that is good enough to potentially get uh, beacons, and we can get eyes of ender going for um, for ender chests, stuff like that. Still haven't seen any spawn. That's okay. It's probably going to take some time, so I may have to cut back. But hopefully, I'll get some in this video, and maybe even a, get the first blaze ride and the first wither skull on season five of the Minecraft server. All right, I hear a blaze. I see, I see some uh, some particles. Where is he? I saw him. I saw him a moment ago. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. He's on my side of the world border too. Oh, come on, come on, Ben. Uh, you gotta come back. Come back. Oh, he's right by a pig man. Okay, I killed him. Whew. I've eluded. Yes. Yes! Alright, so I'm the first one. <laughs> I'm the first one on the server to get that achievement. Uh, no one else has encountered uh, blazes yet, so that's that's a pretty cool. That's a pretty good feeling. Uh, we still, I would still would like to get like a wither skull, but that seems like it might take a while longer. I'm actually surprised to see that the blaze spawned down here, because I don't think I saw him. I was waiting over here, and I don't think I saw him. That is the first the first two blaze rods on the server, which is pretty hype. Uh, so yeah, we m might have to do a b bit more waiting. Um, I will try and show you when I get my first wither skeleton spawn. So I think one of the things hampering spawns here is all the fire. So I am actually, I'm going to try, I brought some TNT with me. I'm going to see if I can blow up some of the fire without blowing up any of the, the nether brick here. Now luckily ne the nether brick is pretty resilient. Um, so it doesn't take much damage from TNT explosions. So I think if I put it like up here or so, maybe I can even go one higher. Uh, I think I should be able to blow up the fire without blowing up. Oh, uh, whoops! <laughs> without blowing up any of the uh, the the nether brick, which I don't want to blow up the nether brick just yet. So so let's let's try this. We'll light it, and hopefully this wood will also prevent. Uh, a lot of the damage. Yeah, using the bed was not necessarily the smartest idea because it ca caused all these fires, but hopefully we can fix it here. And hoop! Alright, let's take a look. Okay, we got some of the... F ah, darn it! Uh, okay, there's lava right there. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I did get rid of some of the fire. Unfortunately, not quite all of it, and I don't want that lava coming out. So let's try and block the block that up again. Luckily it wasn't quite close enough. Shoot. Um, I don't really want to put wood next to the uh, next to the lava. Okay, let's try covering this up again. I think it should just need one block to cover it up. And... like, yeah. Nope. Oh, I can't cover this up. Well, that's awkward. I do hear a blaze, though. So maybe we can get another blaze kill. 
Um, he might be too far away, but he might wander over here anyway. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I couldn't quite get that spot. Maybe let's try just a little bit lower, like right here. And let's see if I can blow up that that one last piece of fire. That'd be nice. Although hopefully I don't expose more lava. Oh, there's the blaze. So he sees me. He's going to come over my way, I think. I think. Do they have AI that does that? Like right now, I'm... Right now he's on the other side of the world border. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh, nope. He's still over there. I think they just kind of stand still when they uh, when they see you. They like start flying up in the air. So maybe I can get him to like wander around a little bit towards me. He's kind of blocked off. I think. Yeah, he saw me. So you can see when they see you because they like, kind of light up. Like they get flames around them. I think I can k kill him and grab s No, if I kill him now, I won't be able to grab the blaze rods. And it would be nice to grab some blaze rods if I'm going to kill him. So I'll have to wait a little bit until he hopefully wanders out this direction. Did he? Where'd he go? What? What? Hello? Is he down here? Where? I couldn't see him. Where is he? Where is he? He's invisible. He's not down here. He's like shooting at me from behind something. Her. I hear the flames. I don't know what's going on here. This might be buggy. <laughs> this is really weird. He doesn't seem to be able to hit me. Wherever he is. So, and I don't see, like, the particle effects from the blaze, so this does appear to be some sort of... I think he's, like, right there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna try and blast open the area down here a bit more, too. Um, and I am actually gonna blast a hole through the wall. Uh, hopefully I can get in access to the inside part of the uh, thing. I'm gonna cause a lot of damage to the terrain, unfortunately, but... I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh no, that's a lot of lava. And I didn't even get inside. Uh, actually, maybe there is no inside there. I think that might actually just be... Okay, so if that's... If I can't get inside um, some sort of hallway there, then there's not really much to be gained. I think I can still block off that lava. That might be a pain, though. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can block that lava off if I do like this or something. And that. Oh, okay. No. What? No, it's still going. It's still... I don't know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try and block it off. Anyway, none of this was very successful. I don't know where the blaze went. <laughs> uh, but we're going to try and... We're going to try and get another uh, skeleton to spawn or something like that. Ah! 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 It's a wither skeleton! <laughs> he he weathered me. Yeah, he's right here. But he can't get me. <laughs> I just I was killing a blaze. You can see the blaze rods right there. Uh, <laughs> and what? No, don't come back. Come back. Don't don't, don't go away. away. All right, I'm gonna kill this guy. I have a looting three sword. Oh my god! I no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ethos in the mumble here. We're just on the Minecraft server together. Ooh. We figured out that you can actually use uh, uh, fishing rods now through the through the through the border. That wasn't you couldn't do that before. We tested in the world border science video. You couldn't do it before, but now you can. And I'm a fire. Yeah, it comes in handy when they when they just won't come across the border. You yeah, to get them that extra yeah. couple feet. So that's really useful for blazes because when blazes see you, they tend to just like float up in the air. Their AI is actually kind of dumb. Uh, but yeah, actually we, we think, like, if you listen, you can hear a lot of blazes right now, and we think that there's a blaze spawner through this wall, through this wall of bed, or of, uh, netherrack. There's and, gotta be one. And let's see, there's, so there's, um, if you dig up here, because I put it like a little temporary wall in place so they couldn't see us through it, because they're, sh they're trying to shoot me through the wall or something. You can kind of see through there, eh. It's a little hard to see through the flames now. 
but there's kind of a cavern in there, and you can see a lot of blazes through there too, and they keep spawning even after we kill them, so... Yeah, I think I think there's got to be a blaze spawner in there as well. So, we got that looking to come up pretty soon. We can uh, build like a uh, automatic blaze grinder or something, that'd be cool. Yeah. Hopefully nobody destroys it. <laughs> Yeah, I. <laughs> Some people just they see a spotter, it's gotta go. <laughs> my my suggestion was that we, in order to get access to the blazes from the blaze spawner, was to build a little TNT cannon here on the border and shoot TNT towards the wall and open up a hole. Etho didn't like that idea very much. <laughs> Not too much, no. But we'll, it'll just be like a couple days actually before we were able to get over there. Because uh, it's five, it's about five blocks a day, and we got one, two, three, four, five. Look, there's another blaze. <laughs> um, and it like it glitches out too. And also, I think the blaze he's he's kind of off to the left there. I think this right here is an intersection. Um, and Etho was saying that this kind of intersection can often be really good for mob spawns. So yeah, I think that's the right one. But yeah, so. Pretty good. I got the first Wither Skeleton on the server. Didn't get a Wither Skull out of it, unfortunately. But uh, I might sit here a little bit and see if I can grind one. But uh, otherwise, pretty cool we have access to this uh, another fortress now. Ah, uh, that's better. <clears throat> so here's the uh, s the Spider Grinder grinder for the previous episode. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've just idled at it for a little bit. It's pretty fun to use, <laughs> and it actually, it uh, it's surprisingly good for experience. You can see there's a couple spiders in there that want in. Um, so yeah, I've damaged all these guys. Oh, the one skeleton here is kind of in the way. But yeah, I so you can only punch like one spider at a time, which kind of sucks. So like right now, and in fact, the one I'm punching right now is undamaged. Yeah, so there's some problems with this because <laughs> I just had to use a sword to kill two spiders. But you have to wait until the... because the, if you just spam it, <coughs> it's not going to do anything. You have to wait until the the death animation is finished before you punch again. But yeah, if I just punch a few more of these guys... Doop -doo, I don't know. Okay, well anyway, let's just go down. And on my way down, you'll see I'm at level 22, just the beginning of level 22. Just from killing those few guys... Fair amount of experience, actually. Uh, you have to idle a while to get them all to build up. But you can see there's kind of a lot of drops from this too. I th I found it funny that there were s there were bones and arrows dropping, but uh, and you can see that skeleton there. That's from the spider chalkies. So that was um, kind of unexpected for me. But yeah, so this is uh I don't know. This has turned out better than I thought. So now that I've got some blaze rods, I can do some cool things. So let's grab. These are all the ender pearls I have. I've been collecting them with my looting sword, but I'm going to grab a few here, maybe like six. So, let's see, so I can uh, get some blaze powder, and let's make some eyes of ender. Of course, we were able to trade villagers for these, and that's how I got my ender chest here. But, um, but I'm going to use these eyes of ender to see about locating the stronghold, or one of the strongholds. And then, let's see what else. Let's make a brewing stand. I think this is the first brewing stand on the server. Should be. And let's put this in my kitchen. That makes sense, I think. I think, Pac I think Pac Rat's working on his place, which is, I think, just above mine. Uh, okay, so we've got the brewing stand. Now, I've picked up some health potions from witches, so I can actually uh, pop these in here. I can make them. There we go. <laughs> I can upgrade them to health too, and I can make them splash potions. So I'll ha that'll actually be kind of useful. More, a lot more useful than just a regular potion of instant health, for sure. And uh, I don't know what I'll use them for. I don't know if I actually have a use for them, but... Okay, so there's health two, and gunpowder to make them splash potions. And um, yeah, I'll let those brew. So I'm gonna go outside. Now let me let me talk a little bit about how strongholds work. So the way the way that strongholds work is that uh, the game well each world has three strongholds, and the game basically picks one point somewhere kind of near the spawn area, 
uh, within a couple hundred blocks of the spawn area. So it picks a point, and then it spawns three strongholds uh, kind of in a triangle around that spawn point. And, or around that point that's near the spawn area. And so, uh, so I'm going to look for the stronghold. Now the, str the stronghold that's going to be in the within the world border the soonest is going to be the one that's closest probably the one that's closest to the center here the center of the world border which is at zero zero so i'm going to start here and i'm going to throw an inner pearl or sorry an eye of ender and see where it takes me and whatever that is i think that's probably the most likely to be the first one within the world border uh where to go oh there it is did it I think it might have just exploded. So that sucks. So, but it's off this way. So let's keep. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's a little. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if you've never used Eyes of Ender before, the way they work is they. Uh, you throw them, and they kind of uh, go off in the direction of the nearest stronghold, and then they have a s kind of smallish chance of just. Um, disintegrating in midair, but if they don't disintegrate in midair, then they just drop back down and you can pick it back up. Uh, I don't really like this pathway. It's kind of hard to g get out. <laughs> I might have to modify that. Anyway, so let's throw it again. Oh, yeah, so we're still going in this direction. Now you can kind of do... Oh, that one popped. So I hope I don't run out. I'll try and conserve them. Um, you can kind of do triangulation to try and locate the exact coordinates of the world border. And I might try and do that, but I for now... I just want to see if there's a world border, sorry, if there, did I say world border? I meant stronghold. I just want to see if there's a stronghold within the world border. So I'm going to go basically all the way out to the edge and just throw another ender pearl, uh, eye of ender, I mean, and see if it's heading <laughs> outwards or inwards from the world border. And if it's uh, heading outwards, then we still have to wait. And we don't know how much longer we have to wait if it's heading inwards. Uh, I think this is about where it was heading. Um, if it's heading inwards, though, then we already have a stronghold within the world border. Now, I think we probably don't, because I think somebody would have run into it by now, but you never know. Okay, so let's let's get a little bit more open area. Let's throw it up. Oh, no, it's still outside. So, and it popped anyway. <laughs> so, okay, that means we probably don't have a stronghold within the world border right now. Because the closest one was off this direction, and it's still outside the world border. So... That's a shame, uh, because that means we can't go fight the Ender Dragon and get an Enderman XP farm and all that stuff. Uh, but that's okay. It's kind of one of the things about the world border is that you have to wait sometimes for these sorts of things. Now, I'm going to go back towards the middle and head the opposite direction and see if maybe um, it's possible, actually, since especially since this took me sort of in almost in a cardinal direction, that uh, since it's sort of searching for the nearest... Uh, the nearest stronghold in kind of like a circle or I, I don't know if that makes sense but it's using distance whereas the world border is a square which basically the, the distance to the corner of the square is larger than the distance to the side of the square so what that means is there could be something in one of the corners that is actually closer or it's farther away from the from the very center of the server but it's still uh, within like closer within the world border and in fact, that's probably likely when we do first hit the, the the stronghold, it probably will be in one of those two corners. But let me head this way a bit and throw another ender pearl. And uh, if it still heads, if it's still if the ender pearl still goes that way, then then that way is probably actually still the closest. Oh, oops. Um, but I'm gonna head up this way, maybe 100 blocks or something, and uh, and we'll throw it again. And uh, if not, then I'll follow it and see where it leads, but probably not going to be inside the world border. Okay, let's take a toss. Where it go? Oh, the, so it is. This, it isn't going the same direction. So that means the center point for the three strong, uh, uh, three strongholds. I keep calling them other things. Did I call them fortresses? I don't know. <laughs> My brain's a little bit scattered. Okay, but it is this way. Uh, so I'm going to go all the way to the world border in this direction, and then we'll toss the pearl up again. Pearl Eye Vendor. God, I'm getting all my terms confused. But uh, I think this way is sort of the jungle, the direction of the jungle. Or maybe not. Oh my god, there's such a thick forest here. 
But let's let's just see what we can figure out from here. So I'm gonna just head all the way to the world border, basically, because I know it's not super close to the to the center of the map. Um, it can't be because the nearest stronghold was still outside the world border, uh, in the other direction. So, okay, let's find an open area around here, and I'll toss up another eye of ender. It's really hard to follow them in multiplayer. I think it's just because it's a little bit glitchy. Okay, toss it up. Uh, yeah, it's still going this way. Uh, that one, no, it didn't pop. Okay. Here's the uh, here's the TNT cannon that we shot at the mountainside over here. <laughs> so that's still around. Um, yeah, so I think it was heading about this way. I'm going to throw it from here so it doesn't get stuck in the mountain. And I would expect, yeah, there it is. So even at the world border, I guess I can go to the top of the mountain and try throwing it. Um, but yeah, it seems like seems like we still don't have uh, a stronghold within the world border, if this is all right. Okay, so let's go up here. So I'm expecting it to go out there, but maybe it won't. Hopefully it won't. Yeah, it's, so it's outside the world border. And it fell down, but I can't reach that, but that's okay. We have a good view of the desert that's coming up, though. That's nice. That'll be a lot of, gla uh, a lot of glass uh, for, for everyone. Uh, people have been kind of taking sand from the mesa, which is a much prettier biome than this flat desert. So, anyway, okay, so that's that's it. Uh, there's no stronghold within the world border, so that's a shame. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll be checking in on it at several points throughout the the season because eventually uh, there will be a stronghold within the world border. So, uh, but yeah, I, that's going to close out the episode. A lot of stuff to do with blaze rods and. <laughs> blazes hopefully we can uh, maybe even start farming some wither skulls soon and that'd be cool that's about it thanks for watching